Hi, in these videos we started looking at our anatomy model and we also started looking at how detailed this anatomy model was in terms of all these different layers. And we also looked at how we can only isolate one layer at a time. For example, in this case right now only my skin system layer is showing. So we, take, uh, we took a look at how we can go to set layers all to visible or invisible and further we were looking at the outliner and how we could go to our display and only show certain elements or the selection of the last hidden objects. We then started taking a look at uh, the brittle bones and how we can make the bones so that they are really uh, degenerating. So let me open this file right now. So the file is open right now and uh, in this one we started taking a look at the T12 bone in our spine and uh, we started by applying a nice noise texture and we changed a whole bunch of things on the noise like the tiling, uh, the repeat UNV and also the offset and we started to give the bone a look as if it was in some places it was uh, still preserving the way the bone should look and in some places the bone was really degenerated. Then we also started looking at another uh, video we started looking at how to make a fatty liver and we took the blend shapes approach in here so let the file open this. So we started to take a look at uh, how we can set up blend shapes for this liver over here and you can see that there's that one blend shape that we had made and which pretty much is bloating that liver right there. And we were also taking a look at soft selections and how we can double click on the move tool and select our vertices and apply soft selections to our model to, to our blend shapes basically to affect our original model. In the next set of video we started taking a look at the liver texture and how we can show a deceased liver. So let this file open right now again. So the file is open right now over here and this one we started to take a look at how we could take the liver and apply again a noise over here and apply a bump and we also saw how we could animate the liver right here you can see some animation keys set and we could we saw how we could animate the liver as if it's being deceased uh, and uh, is degenerating so we took a look at that in this video and in the final video we were also taking a look at the skin color how you can show the disease as if the person has jaundice or something so how the skin color was changing so let's wait for the file to open again and in this final file, we were changing the skin color uh, right here in the mental ray fast skin shader. So we let's double click on that. And we were looking at the subdermal color over here. So let me open this quickly. And let's go back. And the epidermal color actually. And that's the one we were changing in the subsurface scattering layer uh, from going from beige to yellow. And then we were also looking at that in our uh, graph editor. So if I select this subsurface scattering material and if I go to my animation editors, graph editor, and we were looking at our animation curves in RGB right here for the subsurface like as an SSS subsurface scattering material. So that's my red, green, and blue animation curve. And I was hitting A, some hotkeys to display these curves properly. And you can see that there's keys over here. So that's the key at frame one. And this one over here is the key at frame 200. So make sure you watch these videos again. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always watch the 36 videos that we've done and get a better understanding of Maya.